Please read the disclaimer. Hello and welcome, I'm Bio and today we're playing another Bio Classics, a game that holds a very special place in my heart and probably the only sports game to do so, International Superstar Soccer 64. This game is awesome, by the way. It's a, <laughs> it's a really good game. What's this? No note. Need a note to, to save data. Yeah, you know, but go for it. Notes, notes done. Go for the note. Note? Note? All right, here we go. So, International Superstar Soccer 64 is a part of the International Superstar Soccer Series, which is known in Japan as the G Jikyo World Soccer Series. And this is Jikyo World Soccer 3 in Japan, and it's uh, developed internally at Konami and uh, published by Konami. It's released in July 1997. Yeah, there are in many sports games I played, but these are just one of the games I had when I was a kid, and I just loved it. I loved International Superstar Soccer. It was a great game. At least I thought it was back then. And it was the only, like, football game I played, or soccer game I played. Um, properly, I guess. Like, I played a lot of. I never really got into FIFA. But like I said, there aren't really many other sports games I could honestly say that I got into or was interested in. Like, I was never a fan of football, or in this case, soccer, as it's called in America. Um, and I and this game didn't get me into the sport. I just liked how this game played. It was a very nice game. It played very, very well. And yeah, it's a, it's a, I, I do like it. We're just going to have a little play of a open team. We'll just play a match, you know, we we'll probably might not play the entire match. But yeah, we're just having a little uh, little little play around with it. Of course, let's uh let's go with um England because why not? And we'll go up against uh France. France are also a pretty decent team. Condition good. Uh many strong three them is good. We'll give them the same goalkeeper level as well. They're, so we're both in good condition. And let's see what we have to play and what stadium. A couple, only a couple of stadiums. Euro International Stadiums. Euro Center Stadium. Let's go International Stadium. Let's go. Here we go. I just love. Oh, the music is so like nostalgic for me as well. Welcome to this live broadcast. All right. There is going to be a few issues here and there because again, it's the N64 emulator. As long as it's just the shadows, I'm not really too fussed. Alright. Oh, they're going that way. Alright. I'm going to have to remember how the game plays. And he's already scored a goal. I'm already terrible. I'm still I'm learning. I'm learning. The CPU, no mercy. The CPU has no mercy. Boom. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, there's a little bit of issues with the shadows. But it is what it is. Right, I'm trying to create anything here. Midfielder, forward, tight play from France. 
Oh, he's intercepted the ball. Kick it up the wing. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> but I always liked how this played, this game played. This, I always found this game played really well. Let's put him in right in here. We have him right in there. Uh, I tried to, I tried to dupe him past it. And he's got scored in a, I'm not going to win this by the way. You may think, oh well, don't you remember how to play? No. <laughs> it's been such a long time. Like the last time I played this game was probably on the original hardware. Back in, back when I was like 10. I'm not even joking, so... The chances of me being able to play this game well is very minimal. Save from what? I forget you can <laughs> tackle the keepers in this. <laughs> he can if you want to. Out of play. England desperately need a goal. He passes it back. Pass. Left. They're closing him down. He's cutting towards the goal. He's taking it all the way. A valiant attempt, but what? England send a long ball downfield. The pass could have been better. Yes, incredible skill. Well, that pass is a little, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit out of there, but I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. A number of opportunities are available. Can someone meet the long ball? England send a long ball downfield. I'm not I'm not trying to hit it out of bounds. He's got control of the ball. The goalie punches it clear. It's gone out of play. England are given the call. Here's an opportunity for England. Yeah, opportunity for England. We're not going to win though. <laughs> Not trying to score, I'm just trying to get it up the pitch. Can someone meet the long ball? He's looking for the break. Wonderful cover. Conjumate skill there. England send a long ball downfield. The pass could have been better. Midfielder, defender. Not trying to pass it, I'm just trying to get up the field because they'll just end up. The pass could have been better. England hidden hope. What a poor display. Sometimes I wonder. Is he going to switch it across? A magnificent save. The goalie has come out. He centered the high ball. The goalie has it. England live another day. Time is running out. Pass. It still has the same issues that all football games have. Yeah, he scores. Now, the game still has the same issues other soccer football games have, where I have no clue who I'm controlling half the time. I remember playing it when I was a kid and, and it had the same issue, but as a kid I just, I didn't care, really. But nowadays it's something that really does irritate me. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't get over it. It's just so bad. I, I, I understand this is just the norm for people who play football games, but it's not normal for me to not understand who, who I'm playing. To not understand who exactly I'm playing as while I'm playing the game is just does makes no sense to me. Makes no sense. Like if I could, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. Uh, there's a control scheme I'm thinking of for football games, which I think would work really, really well. I'll hit it at the keeper. They did. The, the, the CPU's playing much better than me. Can 
intimate skill from France. He returns it. England intercept the ball. France thwarted again. It's a long shot. Oh, he has it. Keep throwing at the goalie. A number of opportunities are available. A valiant attempt, but thwarted. He's holding on for an opening. That was dangerous. Play. Oh! Ah ha ha, he caused a foul. Dumbass. Oh, that could have gone in. Almost. Oh, it was offside, was it? <laughs> okay. Whatever. That's fine. That's fine. I, I'm not going to win this. I already know. I can try. Why is this happening? I'm try I am trying so hard. He plays the long ball, not enough legs on the pass. The battle for control rages Like it switches control it right. At the end of the first half, France <laughs> leading by three. All right. I just want to make make something out like I'm playing as this is the reason why I find right. This is the reason why I find um, football games in general to be just unplayable, at least to me. Like, the control scheme makes no sense. And yet people seem to think it's... People... Like, FIFA has the exact same control scheme as this. Pretty much dead on. And yet, people think it's fine. I don't know how they seem to think it's fine. I don't understand how they're able to get used to it, because I never can... I never can get used to it. Never. Like, I think about how much I must have played this game as a kid, right? I played this game a lot as a kid. Never got good at the game. Never once got good at the game. Because I don't understand the control scheme. I don't understand it. Here's my idea of a better control scheme. Mouse and keyboard. You put, you have a cursor on the screen, and you point the mouse to where who you want to control. I can't understand how it could work any better than that. Like, I want to know... Like, where the ball is currently, like, the amount of times... Like, just now, right, before we went to half time, I was controlling one dude and I was going in to tackle that dude, right? It then switched control right before I did the tackle to another character. But it, it switched control to that character, and I, I hadn't, my reflexes hadn't realized it switched control. As I was switching control, I pressed the A button, so that character did a tackle instead. Even though that character was miles away from the fucking ball, you get my issue with the control scheme. It makes no fucking sense. Now you could say, well, you need to predict where it's going to take your, what, what character you're going to control next. No, that's stupid. That's fucking, that's fucking retarded. Why do you think that's acceptable control scheme? Because that's fucking retarded. Just saying as a, how it is. You know, to me, that's a, that's a fucking retarded control scheme. And no, you shouldn't have to be expected to do that. No, that's a big, there's a flat no. There's no, no, no way around that. No. The control scheme could be better. And yet, nope, it's just, they've, all football games adopted this control scheme, pretty much. It's just, I don't understand it. Um, like I said, it uh, it brings back, mem uh, like, the music, the, char the controls, the, the, the character models, everything about the game is just nostalgia for me. But I really don't want to play the other half. <laughs> I really don't. So I think we'll get, we'll call it there. Like, I do have, like, I, this This game holds a special place in my heart, but not as much as something like Gex, or not as much as something like Pokemon Snap. Definitely not. It's just, uh, yeah, I just, I just cannot get used to the control scheme. Anyway, we'll call it there. I've been Bio, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. Goodbye.